What's good, BF fam? This is Big Tone coming at you again from Big Tone Productions, Beats and Feeds. You know what time it is. It's time for another cooking video. And today, when you think of comfort food, you can't help but to think of one of the dishes being chicken and dumplings. And we're doing old fashioned chicken and dumplings with the whole chicken today. So, if you never had chicken and dumplings, you're in for a treat. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, make sure you share the video, and let's get started with some homemade chicken and dumplings. Guys, the supporting cast is pretty simple. Um, like I said, we're doing a whole chicken today in the pressure cooker. So I got my whole chicken here. It's already cleaned, washed, ready to be seasoned. Let me move that out of the way for a second. All right, and then I got Big Tone's Holy Trinity, I guess you could call it. I got some carrot, some celery, and some onion. Cut up here, ready to go in. And... We got some butter, of course. We got two cans of cream of chicken soup. One can of cream of mushroom soup. I'm just doing that for a little variation flavor. Some chicken stock. I also got some homemade. We're going to be using the, the stock from the actual chicken itself that we were cooking it in. So we're going to be using that as well. For the dumplings, of course, you got to have some bacon, bacon powder, some all purpose flour. Salt and pepper back here. And then we're going to be seasoning chicken with some Lowry seasoning salt, some paprika, of course, salt and pepper, onion powder, some thyme. I'm going to put in a couple bay leaves. And that's it. Uh, if there's anything else that I forgot, I'll, I'll let you know as the video goes along. But that's essentially all the ingredients for homemade chicken and dumplings. So, guys, let's, uh, let's get started with this. So, first thing we're going to do is season up our bird here. So right off the bat, I'm going to start with some salt, pink Himalayan sea salt, you know how I get down. We're just going to season the outside of it real quick. Nice amount of it, of salt here. <clears throat> some black pepper. And of course I'm going to flip this over and do the same thing on the other side and then I'll show you what I do with the inside. Lowry seasoning salt. Some onion powder. Some paprika. And a little bit of thyme. All right, so I'm gonna pat this into the bird a little bit. All right, so before I flip it over and go to the other side, we're gonna pay our attention to the in, the inner part of the bird. So for the inside of the bird, I'm gonna do the same thing with my seasonings. We're gonna go in with some salt. And I'm gonna go in with some black pepper. And just a little bit of seasoning salt as well. All right. Now inside the bird, I'm going to take some of my onion that I got chopped up here. And I'm going to put it inside, right inside the cavity. And then I'm going to take, I'm using a whole stick of butter, not inside of here, but a whole stick of butter to cook the chicken. Then I'm going to put in about half a stick of butter inside of the bird. And that's it. We're just going to leave it like that. And then we're going to come over here and do our other side of the, the chicken. Alright, so we're on the other side. And just like before, we're going to season pretty liberally here with some pink Himalayan sea salt. Some black pepper. Some Lowry seasoning salt. 
garlic powder here. I'm sorry, some onion powder. I'm sorry. Some smoked paprika or just some paprika. This isn't smoked. I'm sorry. All right, we're gonna go in with a little bit of thyme. So I'm gonna pat this and these spices in a little bit. We're not gonna waste any of these spices because I'm gonna pour these right in the pressure cooker as well. Let's move over to the pressure cooker and let's get this bird started. We're gonna go in our pressure cooker here, put a little bit of oil at the bottom. This is a regular old vegetable oil. We're gonna put it at the bottom. We're gonna add our onion to the pressure cooker. And we're gonna add our celery to the pressure cooker. Both of those things. Then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna grab our chicken. And my ch on the chicken, I'm gonna do it breast side down. And we're gonna put that right in the pressure cooker, just like that. All right, so I got some box chicken stock that I'm gonna pour into this bowl with all these seasonings that typically would be wasted. But we're just gonna pour that right in the pressure cooker as well so we don't waste those seasonings. And now we're gonna go in with some, some more chicken stock. We're gonna pour the rest of this in here. This is only about a cup. And then we're gonna go in with a little bit more chicken stock. About two more cups of chicken stock there. There we go. The last thing we're gonna add, we're gonna add a cream of chicken, cream of mushroom soup. All right, there's one can of cream of chicken soup. There's my second can, cream of chicken soup. And we're gonna go in with a cream of mushroom soup, just to spice it up just a little bit. There we go. All right. We're gonna mix that in there just a little bit. All right, we're gonna add the rest of our stick of butter in here. Gotta keep it moist. And then the last thing, which I should have said earlier, that we're gonna add, is I'm gonna add two bay leaves right to it. All right, so after that, this is why I love the pressure cooker. We're just gonna place the lid on it, lock it down. If you need to learn how to do that, you can watch one of my other videos. I explained it in a lot of my other videos how to lock the pressure cooker down. And uh, we're gonna start this puppy up. All right, so to start this up, I can put this on for 35 minutes, 35 minutes, maybe 25 minutes and the bird will be done. But I'm gonna do a little bit more than that. I'm gonna put this on for Excuse me, I'm gonna put this on for 45 minutes for the simple fact that I wanna help it pull itself apart. So I'm gonna hit the meat chicken button, increment the high, and we're gonna increment it up to 45 minutes. That should allow the bird to cook and it start to fall up off the bone, fall off the bone, which is what I'm gonna do anyway. So as of right about now, should start going around and around. We're gonna count down for 45 minutes. We'll be back in a minute. All right, so since I got my chicken on, I'm gonna go ahead and make my dough out for my dumplings um, so I can let them rest for a little bit of time while the chicken's cooking. So, so in my bowl here, I got two and a half cups of flour, all-purpose flour, all right? So to that all-purpose flour, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt, And we're gonna add about three teaspoons of baking powder. The baking powder is what's gonna make your dumplings light and fluffy. So that's why I'm adding three. Most people only add two. I add three, maybe three and a half. There's my baking powder. Now, to mix this up, I'm gonna add a little bit of butter here. This is about 
a stick of butter. And then we're going to add our chicken stock. Or right, what? If I don't have enough chicken stock, then I'll just add just regular water. So we're going to knead this up here. Get this into a, a dough. Now it's very important that you don't over work this dough because it can make your dumplings a little tough. All right, so enough with the spatula or spoon or whatever. I got to get in here with my hands. I think I'm going to add just a tad bit more flour to it. But let me get in my hands here first. Yeah, we're going to add just a little bit more flour to it. It's a little, little sticky. A little bit more flour there. we go there we go and that happens sometimes you have to measure it just by adding ingredients to it all right there's my dough let me put it out here on the counter. All right, so I got my dough out here on the counter, and we're going to start rolling it out. I'm going to roll it out to about about an eighth of an inch thick. It wants to stick to my rolling pin. Let me get a little bit more flour and put on this. So I got my dough all rolled out there. One thing that I like to use to cut my dumplings is a little small pizza cutter. I like using this pizza cutter. And really, honestly, that, that's all there is to it. So we're going to sit there. I wanted to make this a little earlier. Because I wanted to let this dry a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of flour and dust over top. We're going to let these dry out just a little bit. Get some of the moisture out of them while my chicken is cooking. And that's all there is to making dumplings. Real simple. Once my chicken is done, we'll shred that up. And then we'll add our dumplings and our carrots. Right, so it's been 45 minutes and I released the pressure. So here's the chicken in the pressure cooker. It's definitely fall apart. You can see that. <laughs> it's definitely fall apart. I'm going to take it out. Grab all the pieces to it. And I'm going to take the skin off and the meat from the bone put my dumplings in here take out the bay leaves here take those out those are not pleasant to eat so that's my broth right off the bat I'm gonna put my carrots in here stir those around just a little bit and I'm gonna turn the pressure cooker on to a uh, sear mode and we're going to add our dumplings one by one here so they don't stick together so they've been laying out drying out a little bit so I'm going to continue to add these one by one as the pressure cooker gets hot again you'll see it come to a boil and I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, so I got some of my dumplings in here, so I wanted to show you this. So you can see them plumping up a little bit. So I'm gonna turn the pressure cooker off and add the rest of them. 
So I got all my dumplings in there. I wanted to show you this. You can see them plumping up a little bit. We're going to put them under pressure for about five minutes till they're done. And then we're going to add our chicken back to it. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the meat stew button on here. Or sorry, the stew, stew and soup button. That gives me 10 minutes automatically. And we'll let it go around, back, around and around. But I'm going to be back in five minutes to take these off. It doesn't take longer than that. Got my chicken off the bone and shredded up. So we're just going to pour that back into the mixture. Oh, Lord, it's going to be good. I got my pressure cooker on sear mode. Oh, my God, look at this. Oh, my Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, boy, boy. All right, so I'm going to let that stew just for about another minute or so. I turned it off. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes, let the uh, all the flavors melt, and I'm gonna plate this up for you. Homemade chicken and dumplings, comfort food at its best. Hey guys, this is comfort food at its best. Just imagine a nice cold November type day, and someone gives you a bowl of this. Oh my God, I can't wait to get my mouth on this. You know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for that bite. Guys, if you haven't tried this, you need to do this at home. Oh man, this is perfect. Let me get a bite. Do you know what I'm waiting for? Mm, mm, mm. Get a little dumpling in here too. Mm. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Chicken is so tender that, oh my God, the dumplings melt in your mouth. Hey guys, you gotta try this, you gotta try it. But if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, make sure you share the video. And hey, this is Big Tone signing off. Peace. <laughs>